Hi, and welcome to the course. Uh, my name's Kieran, I'm the founder of Canadian Coding, and I'm going to be walking you through this introduction to Python. So, um, I guess it's probably the biggest question with a Python course off the bat is why should you bother to learn Python versus any other language? Um, and so Python is a really useful language for a lot of reasons. Um, one of the biggest being that the community around Python is huge um, and very actively involved. And so trying to find any help with anything to do with Python is often very easy, but also finding things where people have already created certain pieces of software to help you along with your Python projects is very common. It's very easy. Uh, I actually cover one of the modules in this course is going to be how to source different uh, projects from other people and be able to implement implement them into your own projects. Um, it's also incredibly fast to develop for. Python really, I actually have an image here, um, Python really is a lot less, uh, it, it gives you, some people say it gives you a little bit less control. Um, it actually just, it does things in a way that are it really simplifies how things work. And so as you can see, these two different pieces of code here are both basically just reading from a file. Uh, and you can see the Python is four lines and the Java is 18. Um, this isn't a perfect representation because Java actually, you, you could optimize that for sure, but it is typically about right that it's usually about three, three to four times longer to do it in Java as far as code um, than in Python. Um, and so it basically makes it a really good language to learn off the bat because you don't have to focus so much on remembering little bits and pieces that you have to include in there. Um, it just really lets you get closer to the code and really worry about what you're doing as opposed to how you necessarily need to do it, uh, which is very helpful if you're just learning a language. Um, and so as far as the course structure goes, so each, so this course is basically split into a whole bunch of modules. Each of those modules have three main components. Uh, so the reading, which is kind of what we're looking at here on my website, uh, the exercises, which are kind of a little bit less involved, uh, a little bit more handholdy sort of ways for you to apply uh, the knowledge that you're learning in the readings, and then challenges, which are intended to be a little bit more difficult um, to complete and really challenge you to actually uh, understand the concepts that are being taught in in the course. Uh, if you, there are actually, I guess there's three, it's a good point to mention that there's actually three different versions of this course available. There's the YouTube version, um, which I guess is also incorporated into the other two versions, which are my website and the GitHub um, version. So if you are on the GitHub version, then keep in mind that uh, these will actually be separate files. So they will be reading.md, exercises.py, and challenges.py. Um, if you're on the website, you don't have to worry about that. These will just actually be different sections under each heading. Uh, another thing worth mentioning is that this course is developed for Python 3. Uh, realistically, you really shouldn't be running Python 2 anymore. It's actually officially being deprecated as of uh, the sort of next year, which means that uh, if you are using it, then you should probably take this course to learn how to get rid of your old Python 2 code and swap it to Python 3. Um, it's not going to make that much of a difference. There's just certain certain more involved things that we're not going to touch on in this course that are very different with Python 2. Um, but just one, that's just one thing to keep in mind when you're Googling questions is that sometimes they'll show you Python 2 code. Um, yeah. Uh, I've also inside, uh, inside the first introduction section here included some other websites and references. Uh, if you decide that you start going through my course and you hate my explanations, you can actually go and try and find some better explanations from other people. Really the goal of this course is to get as many people involved in Python as possible. Um, so I don't, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be offended if you go off and try and find somebody else who gives a better explanation than I can um, for a specific topic. So there's a whole list of them here and there'll also be some inside each of the modules. Um, last and not least, there's going to be some other courses that you can take after this if you do decide to. Uh, so this is the introduction course. There is going to be an intermediate course and an advanced course, and there's going to be different specialized courses that I'm going to be offering as well, and all of those will um, also be free. So if you're ready to get into it, then either on the GitHub page, jump to module zero, or if you're on the website, just scroll back up to the top here and go to module zero. See you there.